Welcome to our journey through World War I, a time of big battles and big changes. Let's dive into this history roller coaster. Picture this, it's June 28, 1914, and an event in Sarajevo sets off a domino effect. Archduke Franz Ferdinand's assassination led to a whole world turning to war. Why did it happen? Well, there were a lot of reasons. Countries were building up their armies, feeling really proud of where they came from and wanted more land. Plus, they had these deals with each other that made things even trickier. Did you know? Europe was in a bit of a tense situation with all these powerful countries trying to show off their strength. Now imagine being stuck in a muddy trench, bombs going off around you and rats the size of small dogs. That's what soldiers faced in the trenches where fighting got stuck in a big stalemate. Fun fact, soldiers had to get creative in the trenches using items like tin cans and old newspapers to make shelters and protect themselves from the elements. Brave soldiers fought some big battles like at the Somme and Verdun. They fought hard, but gains were small and losses were huge. Plus they had to deal with trench foot, a nasty foot problem from the wet and cold. Did you know? The Battle of the Somme saw over a million casualties, making it one of the bloodiest battles in history. World War I wasn't just Europe's problem. It spread all over. From the deserts of the Middle East to the Pacific Ocean, countries fought for power and control. Interesting fact. During World War I, soldiers from countries like India, Australia and Canada fought alongside British forces, showing just how global the conflict was. America wasn't going to stay on the sidelines for long. When German submarines sank a big ship called the Lusitania, the US decided it was time to jump in and help out. Fun fact, the sinking of the Lusitania, which had American passengers on board, helped sway public opinion in the US towards joining the war. In Russia, things got really mixed up. The old way of ruling ended and new leaders took charge. Russia decided it had enough war and left the fight. Interesting fact, the Russian Revolution paved the way for the rise of communism in Russia, which had a profound impact on world history in the 20th century. Finally, on November 11, 1918, everyone decided they were tired of fighting. They signed a big paper called an armistice, ending the war, but making peace was tough work. Did you know? The armistice was signed in a railway carriage in the forest of Compiègne, France, marking the end of the fighting on the Western Front. When the dust settled, things looked very different. Borders changed, and scars from the war lasted a long time. But out of the mess came something hopeful. Countries started talking to each other more, trying to prevent another big war. Interesting fact. The Treaty of Versailles, which officially ended World War I, placed heavy blame and penalties on Germany, setting the stage for future conflicts. As time passed, the world began to heal, but the memory of World War I remained. Monuments were built, poems were written and ceremonies held to honor those who fought and those who fell. Today, we remember their sacrifices and strive for a world where peace prevails. So that's World War I in a nutshell. Remembering the past helps us understand the present. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride through history. Hope you enjoyed this quick trip through World War I. Don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe for more history adventures. See you next time.